Michelle Sweeney and I'm a piano teacher. Today I'm going to be teaching you a practice technique called Stop, Prepare. So I'm working on Go Tell Aunt Rhody and there's a part in this song where I need to move my right hand to a new note. So I start with my thumb on C and all of my fingers on those five notes above C. And at the end of the first line, I need to move this finger up, just one note, up to E. And so I'm going to stop when I get to that point and I'm going to prepare before I keep on playing. So, like this. Now I'm going to stop because this is the place where I need to prepare for what's next. So the next thing I need to do is I need to move this finger, my pointer finger, up to the E. So it's not very far, I just need to scoot it over a little bit. But I'm going to stop until I'm ready and I have my finger ready to go. And then I go. And here we need to stop again. We're going to stop, prepare to go back down. And now fourth finger is on G, but we're moving the third finger, this tall finger, to E. So each time we're moving the finger to E, this one is moving the third finger to E. So wait until your third finger is ready to play E. And then go. go. So when you're practicing, you always want to stop and prepare rather than make a mistake and stumble. So when you are anticipating that you have a change of fingering, you need to move your hand or you have something that you need to work on, it's important to just stop preparing yourself for that moment and take the time you need to figure it out. And then there will come a point after you do that a lot of times, I would say probably 20 to 40 times, you need to do a lot of times. After you do it a bunch of times, then you're gonna be able to take that stop out because you will have given yourself the time to prepare your mind, to prepare your fingers, and then you can take the pause out. You can always take out a pause. It's a lot harder to take out a mistake. So you wanna stop when you have something that you need to prepare and then get ready for it and then go. Okay, so one more time. Let's practice Go Tell Aunt Rhody right hand with stop, prepare to move to the E. First time you're moving your second finger to the E and the second time you're moving your third finger back down to the E. Let's go, ready? And that's stop prepare. It's a practice technique that you can use in any situation where you know you need a little bit more time. You can play the song at the right tempo, at the right speed, all the notes that you know how to play, but give yourself a pause at the part where you need time to prepare and get ready so that you can play it accurately.